try to put the base in for the pizza oven and get this built. We're gonna try something a little different with it. We're gonna put a revolving floor in it. So what I'm using is it's a bearing um, off of a, a skag mower. Mm -hmm. These skag mower bearings are pretty inexpensive on eBay. I think it's about 40 bucks and they are so nice. The mm -hmm. tolerances are great. So it's about a one inch shaft. So what I wanna do is connect extra three quarter inch solid bar stock over there that we're okay. gonna make it out of. He's gonna run a small little truss connection off the bottom. And then we're gonna put um, granite on there. Mm -hmm. And on a plan, this will be bedded. I'm just gonna bury it right into the concrete. So something like that, but what I'm worried about is this granite cracking because that big a piece probably would heat up on one side and Are you expand more the like crack. A black pearl? Um, I'm thinking hone mist. Hone so mist, okay. create a pie shape. Mm -hmm. So to give it room. To so if we out. make our granite, yeah, I can't see any of that piece cracking. That should expand and contract. It should expand itself. and contract pretty good. Okay. But then I, I'd like to just go ahead and make the rest of the bed granite also. Mm -hmm. You know, the chimney area would be somewhere like right around here. And then we'll put some sandstone that we're gonna cut out of the site, out of the ground over there, sandstone blocks to create a face on this. Probably some kind of like stepped face mm -hmm. out of that variegated sandstone out of the face. So what I'd like to do is have the granite come out We'll cut that into three pieces. And then I think mm -hmm. it won't crack maybe. That so crack. what I'm thinking is we can just water jet this out of one, oh, the whole one thing piece. Will be granite. Okay. Yeah. So then we'll create the, Are you gonna leave a little the dome out of bricks. Four. Then our wall thickness will have brick, we'll have insulation, and then we'll have a stone cap over mortar so okay. then the fire's gonna be back here mm -hmm. so i wouldn't mind even trying to put a back door on this thing probably for cleaning that would be good cleaning and and put a fire in but i've never seen a pizza oven that has a back door so we need a fire door in the back and then also in the front and we can either put a handle on it that you just pull the whole door out which mm -hmm. i kind of like that idea i like that idea too are you going to put like a hook on the side here or something in order to hold that hood or that thing? Yeah, we could, yeah. But the back would be better as a, um, a door. You want to drop down? Yeah, drop down. This will be, you know, we call it kind of the smoke chamber. Mm -hmm. So the chimney that will come up out of here. Get it up high enough so it's not a nuisance. And is that your face? Yeah. And then these will be those stepped stones. Okay. Concrete slab will be under, and then I just want to build a kind of a sacrificial base because we're going to move this pizza oven later. It's a, this is a temporary location. So we need to mount this shaft in here to go into our bearing. So right now we're measuring for our four supports. It's going to allow the turntable to spin. So, I don't really have the room I thought I was gonna to get that brace in there. I don't think you need it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, watch your eyes.
Okay, so for the pizza oven, I'm gonna draw out the pattern for our granite shaft to cut on the wet water jet. How do you do this? Like, what are you working off of right now? That little drawing? So I have a little picture um, off to the side here. Okay, yes, I get it here for you. And that's kind of what I'm using for the dimensions. So this is the stone where the pizza will sit on that's going to rotate with the fire back behind here. I just film Grant helping to rotate. And then now I'm adding seams into the top to help with heat distribution. And contraction and expansion. So each of those are going to be different pieces of stone? Mm -hmm. Different pieces of stone, um, all the same color. So we're going to cut it out of one big slab. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to segment everything and cut out the circle with the water jet. So once I have this, it's all set. That was so fast. <laughs> and then I'll email it over to the guys, and then they will be able to bring it up on their program that they have and cut it on our water jet.
So we're using some of the sandstone that we cut out of the road, the pallets of the sandstone pieces here that we're uh, going to be using a lot of them as steps on the property.